by. And it doesn't have to be difficult. With us we have Marcia Nordine, who's the owner of Saturday's Child, a toy store on the north side. And it's a, a store that I've walked past many times and I wanted to go in. So welcome and for coming here today. Well, thank you. You have all kinds of toys, all sorts of colors, a, a beautiful display of toys. When you're going to purchase a toy, what is the first thing you have to consider when you go in the store and you have a toy to buy for someone? The age of the child. Okay. Makes the most sense first. Um, how much you want to spend. I mean, those are all considerations, obviously. Um, See, I think it's something that's not going to bore the child. I mean, he's not going to be bored with it immediately. Right. Uh, the, the toys that we have, we try to uh, make sure that there's a lot of what I guess for experts call play value. Okay. Now, you, you, you call the store an alternative store. What does that mean exactly? Uh, the toys that I carry, you won't find in... Uh, in, in, mass, mass, yeah, in a mass merchandising. Can you start telling us about some of the toys here? Sure. Um, Let's do one because I like that. Okay. You like the, the darter. The colors attract me. Um, this is mm -hmm. a, a roadway set. It's mm -hmm. a darter roadway set. The cars have uh, replaceable ratchet engines. For how old? Oh, I would say four. Mm -hmm. uh, a three-year-old can do it, but... Uh, but four is a good age. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember which way we decided it worked best. Ah. Okay. I to like scale, that. he goes uh, 523 miles an hour. The crew likes the toy, too. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a fun one. And uh, it can... How there much is it? This is, happens to be an expansion set, which mm -hmm. is $19. And the cars are five seventy-five. dollars Oops, we lost That's a car. That's terrific. But anyway, there are many different ways that you can put mm -hmm. them together, many different sets. So that they'll do corkscrew loops and it's safe, towers. I mean, it's oh, yeah. and, and this here, which really is attractive. This one is for an infant. Mm -hmm. It's it's often a favorite uh, mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. gift for a special relative or whatever. The children love to watch as it goes around. It makes music, and they love to watch the falls. I like Ruben asked me if I wanted a pet. Well, I think I would prefer this for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, they uh, it's a, a Greek toy. Uh, all of the paints that they use okay. are non-toxic as we the not have to be careful about. Now, now this is very interesting. This one is for an older child, mm -hmm. um, much older. They're, now, older, ch all, older children are more difficult to buy for. They are, they are. Uh, they've had many years of watching television, and it makes a difference in what they're willing to play with. Uh -huh. This guy is really neat. He's all magnetized. He's made of high-density plastic and metal, and he's got magnets. Art. Yeah, the magnets are strong enough that once put on, it'll also work like a door. So it, it, what and does it'll he stay do? There. Well, he does all sorts of stuff. He has little men. He's a master robot. And he has little men that, you know, go inside to control him. Unbelievable. And then there are the utility robots, like this little guy who's uh -huh. down here. And then here I have an elevator. His own crew. Yep. His own crew. We have this cost? an elevator. He's eighty-four dollars. We sell a lot of them mm -hmm. to men who want to have them in their office to play with. See, and men never grow up. Nope, they never. So do. for the man that has everything, you can so always that buy him this. So this guy also has. Mm -hmm. He has missiles that don't shoot very far, but it's all mechanical. Oh. It's all mechanical. And it's, for, it's sturdy, battery. so it will last. Yeah. And his arms shoot off. But, uh, let's try to get to another one. So okay. I want everyone to get an idea as to what you have here. And uh, this is, is another this? infant toy. Um, mm -hmm. Everybody, I'm sure, is aware of um, okay. the um, busy box and whatnot. Mm -hmm. This okay. English company has taken all of the activities of a busy box and integrated it into a scene, which makes it more appealing as the child gets older. Mm -hmm. The farmers out in the field and the uh. ducks go in and out, mm -hmm. you know, mommy duck squeaks, and the animals inside. And what does this cost? This one is about $28. Okay, so that's fairly reasonable. Yeah. And here? This is a, a cogwheel, is what it's called. And ah. it, it has gears, and they can move them around. See, I, I mean, I want to play, too, with this. And they can move them around in any way. So, none of your, look at that, none of your toys are really hyped. I mean, we, you don't no. have to buy a cabbage patch. No. Oh, there are other toys. There are lots of other toys, and kids basically haven't changed. You know, they'll find just as much joy in this, and this as in something. 
nineteen dollars. I'm pretty and sure. Here, um, that's the Funland Farm. That one is in the twenty dollar range. There are more pieces than we were able to get on the. You know what? Your toys are reasonable in price. They are, considering the durability mm -hmm. and the fact that they last for a long time. So you have, and this, I mean, you could add to this. Oh and yeah. And they could save this. The train isn't part of it. The train is, mm -hmm. is another thing entirely. It's a wooden train uh, made by Brio just... that goes together with magnets. And uh, there are starter sets at 22, and pieces go. A set can go up to $300, but then there. I've got shelves and shelves mm -hmm. of just accessory and it's, pieces. And it's Christmas. In fact, everything is. You have the beautiful colors. And you have, I'm impressed with the selection of toys that you have. I'm going to go there and do some shopping. Thank you for coming on today and bringing your beautiful toys. Stay tuned. We're going to find out the true meaning of Christmas right after this message.